Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. I thought I'd just start with a close-up. I usually start with a long shot, but look, it's a great, it's a great look to it, isn't it? With the card in the background there. You can see the rangefinder articulated as well, which is good. Anyway, this is the Vintage Collection Quick Shot series. I am only one Kenobi, and this is episode number, is it 168 now? I think it is. Anyway, it's Commander Wolf. So apart from it looking good there, where I showed you that, that's where the good news ends, I'm afraid, because, yeah, 168. It's a really kind of a cop-out figure, this. I almost didn't open it, but I have, because, you know, I found a place for it on my shelf. I've put it, you know, not too far. For, it's on my Clone Wars shelf, obviously, but I've put it not too far away from, you know, the new um, Fives figure, Echo and Jesse. You know, he's there, he's good. I've got a load of other commanders on that shelf as well. I've got a spare Cody that I've put on there. I've got this fella. And I've got, you know, Rex, obviously. But this is the problem with this figure, right? It's got the old sculpt. It's a real cop-out because they didn't give you... I mean, considering you got that Jesse and that Fives and the... And, and Echo, I nearly forgot his name. You, they gave you this, which came arguably before them, but... <sighs> they gave you that horrible sculpt that was synonymous with the Rex and well obviously this has got a removable helmet as you can see there it is removed there but I put it on because I actually quite look, like the look of it on with this guy but you know it's got that horrible hard thing there the hard goods there and and you get that with this as well uh, I'll yeah let me pan away show you what I mean that Rex that's now in the vintage collection was released in this line which was the black series three and three quarter inch and I'll say again, like I've said a lot, a lot of times on my channel, should never have happened this line. It should have all been vintage. But anyway, to be honest, I really hope we don't get him repacked. He's not really a clone that floats my boat. But, um, well, here's, for example, this is another one. You see, this is another Black Series figure that should have been vintage. God, imagine him on <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. Sorry, there's a few gaps on the wall there. Imagine him on an ROT, ROTS card, you know? Should have happened, could have happened, but anyway, um, yeah, so he has, uh, where, where am I up to here? Yeah, so the body's terrible, and also, I don't usually go into the details of the articulation in this series. You know, I'll briefly mention it, but I won't be giving you a demo. I'll just show you the figure in a, a good pose and the card back. But the, you can't do anything with the ball, it should have ball jointed hips. I think, God, even this guy does. Look at this. The reason I've got him on display is, um, as well to show you the clone Commander Neo is because the the helmets are very similar. He's going to... The reason I'm pausing is because he's turning around. You'll see him in a minute. They are almost identical. In fact, the visors are very similar and... Um, except this is a much better helmet because of the fact... So let's go in. He's got that rangefinder and it's articulatable articulable there you go it's very delicate that go easy on it but the only other issue as well with it it's, it's an all right figure but he is lacking weathering and that's another good thing about this guy look at his weathering he would have been awesome on a vintage car back look at that beautiful wash of dirt on him um maybe he's just a clean trooper and he looks all right he does look good actually but there's a lot technically with the figure that is wrong like the articulation in the hips, the, the hard goods there. It's, it's no Arc 77, Captain Ford, though that. I will take the helmet off him, but as I said, I had... Actually, when I took him off my shelf before, I had his helmet off, and I had him holding it under his arm. But there is the facial sculpt, and it's hard to tell if... Let me just move him out of the way. Sorry about the camera work. Here he is. Let's settle this down now. See, look at him. When I first saw him, I thought that they had met us halfway and done... A facial sculpt that represented not just the realistic tomorrow Morrison, but also maybe a little bit of, you know, when they did those animated figures, the three and three quarter inch Clone Wars line, like Dooku looked just like the animated Dooku. And this guy looks a little bit like the Tamora from the series, you know, the animated. So we've got incoming, you know, the, 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 like the clones. But I don't know if that's because I used to have a Commander Wolf from that line, the animated series. And I don't know if it's because I can see his eye there and it's reminding me of that figure. But um, there was a wolf, actually, another wolf that was in this line. Boom. 
It's a shame I'm not in my loose room. I could go through and show you. I might show you before the end, maybe. I don't know. I'll just show you an image. There was a wolf in that line, you see. When they um, announced the Commander Wolf for Clone Wars, we all thought, well, I did anyway, that they were going to just re-release Wolf in the snow gear, but they didn't. So there you are. It's, it's an all right figure. Actually, I'm glad I did open him because, you know, you've got to have him open to add, especially if you've got all the others. Why not add him with him? But the reason I hesitated was because I thought, well... The, the figure is average. And there he is. And the other good news about this card back and figure is that, you know, it's another character on the Clone Wars, in the Clone Wars line of the vintage collection, which, you know, at one point for a long time, we only had three. Obi-Wan, Anakin and Ahsoka. But now we've got Rex. We've got, you know, Wolf. And we also have the three pack of Echo, Fives and Jesse. But now we also have Fives. And here he is. I so happen to have him by me. But that's a good figure. This is what I was trying to say before. This figure, not a patch on this bad boy here. Man, that kicks ass. That's a, that's a good figure. It's new. They've taken an initiative and thought, right, let's make a good quality. This is just a little bit lazy, Hasbro. Very lazy. But anyway, there you are. There are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know below. I have been only one Kenobi, only one. Let me know if you fancied having him in the uh, vintage collection. Missed opportunity again. That bloody three and three quarter inch black series line. Denied us many card backs. They brought some in, but, you know, we may never get that on a vintage card. Oh, well. It's not life-threatening, is it? Chant keep me awake at night. But anyway, there are my thoughts. This has been only one Kenobi. Only one. Out.